Have you ever struggled with being transparent? Let's be honest, there are times when we are afraid to be real with ourselves and also to be open and honest with other people. In today's video, we are gonna talk about three reasons why you should always be transparent. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I, of course, am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. So today's episode is all about transparency. And if you don't know what that word is, the quick and dirty version is being open and honest and being able to share without secrets. But before we get into it, put in the comment section and let me know, do you feel like you are naturally a transparent person? Like you can share your thoughts and feelings and just be open and honest. Or do you feel like it's harder for you to be transparent with other people? I want to know. So this is a wonderful topic because we have an anonymous question that came in on a segment that I love to call Dear Keandra. And the anonymous question reads, Dear Keandra, I tend to be a shy and introverted person. It takes a lot for me to open up and share my thoughts and feelings with other people. Unfortunately, this has meant that I don't have the best relationships because people find that I am closed off. Can you tell me a little bit more about what I can do to start being open, honest, transparent, so I can build more real relationships? Well, first of all, thank you so much for your honesty and for writing into the show. If you want one of your questions to be featured on an upcoming episode, make sure to email info at keandrajackson.com and your question could potentially be on an upcoming episode. So first of all, transparency isn't an easy thing to do. I think it comes naturally for a lot of us, but then there are a whole subset of people who struggle with this all together. And it can be for a number of different reasons. You can be more shy and introverted as our anonymous person indicated, you may have developed and went through some traumatic experience where you have become a little bit more reserved and not so much trusting of other people. There's a whole bunch of different reasons. But I like to encourage people to be open, transparent, and honest as much as possible. And to be honest, it has some benefits. So let's get into the first reason why always being transparent is a positive thing. The first one is that it builds trust and accountability. Now this is a two way street. We always want people to be open and honest and trusting of us, but sometimes we don't reciprocate that energy. So making sure that you are transparent, builds that credibility and builds that trust with other people. If you find yourself reserved, if you find yourself not sharing, if you find yourself being a little bit standoffish, then people are gonna be that way with you. People can feel energy. People can feel when it's a safe space. People can feel these things. So if you are struggling, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are a bad person, that you're doing something wrong. It's just that I want to encourage you to reciprocate the very thing that you want others to do to you. So if you want people to be more honest in conversations, you got to open up and share a little bit about yourself. If you want people to feel like you're a warming presence, you also have to give off that warming presence. And this is going to take work if you're someone who hasn't done these things before, but it's absolutely positively necessary because we're all human and we've all been through ups down, successes, issues with our work, missed opportunities, feeling away about ourselves, self-esteem, confidence issues. We've all been through so many different things. And sometimes just sharing even a little teeny, teeny tiny, weeny tiny piece of your story can help someone else. And it can bring those walls down. It can bring that fence down. It can bring that gate down. And that's going to allow you to start to have a more beautiful, intimate relationship with other people because they're going to see that you are a trustworthy person. Number two, the second reason why you should always be transparent is because it has some health benefits. You can reduce your stress and anxiety when you are transparent. I don't know about y'all, but the last time that I tried to keep something in and bottled in and not say anything, it did not go over well for me. And we forget that sometimes that stress and anxiety and keeping things in and, you know, not sharing and being open and being closed has physiological consequences. Some of us get headaches. Some of us have weight issues. Some of us develop medical issues because we keep things so enclosed and keep things inside and we don't realize how it impacts us. So keeping things in and even withholding information because we all know that 
that's a form of lying, lying by omission. You're gonna have to watch the other video that I did. I'll link it up here on Liar Liar where I break down the different types of liars. But nevertheless, the burden of having to keep things in can be a lot for people. Now, I'm not saying that if you were a secret keeper and somebody told you a secret, you gotta go and tell everybody or me as a therapist, I thrive and we thrive off of confidentiality. So we have to keep things, right? That nobody else knows. I'm not talking about those instances. I'm I'm talking about instances where it's literally like secrets, deep, dark secrets, things that you've been going through, family trauma, some things that you need to release and let go. This is why therapy is so what we call a, a catharsis, like a release, because it's really just like, oh, I have kept this in. I've had people tell me I have kept this in for the last decade and I finally got a chance to tell somebody and they weren't going to judge me. That's what happens when you are honest and transparent. It reduces your stress and anxiety and it has benefits for you as well as helping you have better relationships with other people. And if you are somebody that's looking for more like tangible ways to reduce your stress and anxiety, I have a whole list in my small pocket size book called Staying Sane in an Insane World, a prescription for even better mental health. You can check it out at www.stayingsaneworld.com to grab have a copy, but I am convinced that just having that small book alone can change the game in regards to your mental health. And last but not least, the third reason why you should always strive to be transparent is because it helps you build more authentic connections with other people. That's the whole point of our anonymous person and their question is because they were so blocked off and so nervous for them to be their true authentic self that it's blocking them having connections and relationships with other people. And I'm sure if this is happening in one area of your life, I'm pretty sure that it's happening with family, with friends, with coworkers, with strangers, and all of the more. Some of the best relationships that I have is with people that are raw and real. And that's typically my personality. I'm a little bit more blunt. I'm a little bit more direct. I don't lie. I like, I'm a straight shooter, as I like to say. But those are the reasons why people love me. Those are the reasons why people People come to me. Those are the reasons why people have friendships with me and come to me for therapy is because they're tired of being around yes people or the people around them are just like, yes, sure, uh-huh, you're right all of the time. But they know if they call Keandra, I'm gonna be like, girl, you know you was wrong. <laughs> why you do that? That was inappropriate. You need to go apologize. It's because I keep it real. And that helps me to build those authentic relationships because they know that I'm not going to lie to them. They know I'm not going to manipulate them. They know they're going to get an authentic experience when they're with me. And that's what I love. That's the reciprocity that I love. That's the people that I also like to keep around me. If you lie and cheat and sneak in and being all, oh, I don't want to say anything you probably are not gonna be in my close inner circle because I'm big on reciprocity. You gotta give what you wanna get. You gotta get what you wanna give, all of those things. So it's important to have the ebb and the flow, the give and the take in the relationship. Now I'm not saying you gotta be harsh and blunt and direct and don't have any tact and any empathy. I'm not saying that at all, but I am saying if you take the time to just peel back layers of that onion a little bit and say, okay, in this conversation, I would normally be quiet and not say anything, but I'm gonna share a little bit a little piece of myself and see how it goes, right? And then when you see how the person responds to you, hopefully it's a positive response, then you can start to give them a little bit more and do a little bit more in another relationship and, and do more with another connection and do more and more. And then you'll start to develop being a just a transparent person in general. That's kind of like your value system and how you navigate and move by. So I'm going to give my final thoughts on this because it's a wrap. Last time that I checked in my Nipsey Hustle, last time that I checked <laughs> in my Nipsey Hustle voice, I don't know anybody who genuinely and naturally wants to be in relationship with somebody who is more closed off, who is more of a liar, who is withholding information. And they do this all the time. There has to be some level of transparency, of honesty, not keeping secrets, withholding information. There has to be an element to your relationship because if it isn't, you're gonna cause some discord. You're gonna cause one party who is more open and honest to look at you and be like, well, dang girl, I'm always 
always sharing it and you never share anything about yourself, what's going on? This starts to be a one-sided relationship. And then you're going to find yourself lonely because then people are not going to want to be in connection with you at all. So this is something that you want to practice being transparent, being open, being honest, not withholding information, not keeping secrets and just allowing yourself to be your true authentic self, but just opening up a little bit. Like I talked about with that onion, just peeling back a layer at a time. And I can guarantee that over time you are going to see your progress because slow progress is still progress, but you will start to see the relationship that you have with yourself and others transform. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson show. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Be blessed and I will see you soon.